okay so there is one more topic then we will discuss more about that topic again okay so collective processing in sales and distribution okay what is collective processing okay <clears throat> now now i have shown you before if you remember um if i open my old sales order So if I open existing sales order, um, this one, if I click on this document flow that I've shown you before, document flow. system is very slow today yes Manish you're right I think there's some problem because I'm also getting a message that um, <coughs> connection is restored Um, probably let's let's wait for another five minutes, five ten minutes or fifteen minutes, and if it keep happening, then uh, I will restart my modem. So, probably just be with me. Let's let's wait for a couple of minutes. Just give me a second, let me check something. <clears throat> okay, I will explain you in the meantime. So you have seen that I have before uh, that I created a, a sales order or secretation or sales order. Then from this sales order, I created manually a delivery, which we call it outbound delivery. Okay, in the document flow, and then we created a, a, a transfer order. Then we created a. Um, then we have done the post goods issue and finally we have done billing okay in the document flow okay so we have done it like one by one okay so let me see if I can open this so so we I created a sales order before I manually created an outbound delivery I manually created a transfer order I manually created a post good issue I manually created a billing document Okay, billing document okay 
but <clears throat> but in, in in actual we we never create it manually you can create it manually if you want but if you think about a big companies where we creating a say hundreds or thousands of sales order every day okay so in that case we're not going to do one by one okay we're not going to uh, do the delivery for one order then second order then third order then again we're creating a transfer order for one order okay for and second third okay so in that case everything is done in a ma in a mass processing or we call it collect collective processing okay so just in one go you will do everything which is pending okay you can do hundred you can do thousands or everything okay so that's I'm going to show uh, to show you that how we can do it okay how it's actually done okay so <clears throat> That's a collective processing. Okay, so if you look at this screen, you can see, for example, there is a we we have a <clears throat> a lot of sales order. Okay, so just say ten sales order, twenty sales order, uh, waiting for the delivery. Then we will not, as I said, we will not create delivery one by one. We will be creating a collective delivery. Okay, so how we do it? So let me show you. Let me open another screen just to let you know that. You know how to open a new session you click on this one but if it's, it's doing something it's, it's still you can say uh, doing the circle so you can click on this icon and click on create session it will create one more session System is really slow today. Okay, so <clears throat> the menu parts to do that collective delivery. Okay, for example, that that is go to logistics. Um. Sales and distribution, shipping and transportation, outbound delivery, create single document. So okay, so we were using this transaction before to create delivery for one document. Okay, but when you talk about hundreds or thousands of documents, so you will open this one collective processing of documents due for delivery. And here there are a couple of options here, but we will be, we will be using the, this one sales order. Okay, for collective billing uh, delivery for sales order. So if I execute this transaction, right, let's see what happens. Okay, and here what I need to do is I need to give it a shipping point. Okay, like you know every sales order has a shipping point and I will say a thousand is a shipping point and I want to do the delivery for all the orders that were created uh, on 12th, between 12th and 13th and 13th or I can change this date as well. I will say of last month 12th of last month and up to 13th which is uh, tomorrow okay and if I execute this one it will give me a list of all the pending orders that are between these dates okay let's see what happens there are three orders only okay so for example if I go back one more step so for example if I say give me all the sales order which is pending from the beginning or everything up to today's date give me everything that means give me everything for this shipping point okay if I execute this one let's see what happens see there are a lot of orders so it's giving you all the orders here okay it's giving you all the orders here okay so there's a big list here okay so I will not execute this because it will slow down the system because there's a lot of stuff plus also you can see red lights Red light means something wrong. That means delivery date is wrong or something. So you can see these dates like 2006 or something. So they are very some there are some very sales order sitting there from the last seven six seven years. Okay. So probably let me go back one more step. I will give it a date. So in actual in companies we run it like this. We run it. This will be blank. This will be today's date or tomorrow's date. 
and run it will say give me everything okay